What would happen if a face hugger from the Alien movies impregnated a white spike from the Tomorrow War? So how would the face hugger even get on in the first place with the white spike's teeth that it'd probably just bite it and melt its own face off? Or it could even shoot it with one of its spikes before it gets within range. But I guess we'll have to suspend our disbelief a little bit with this scenario, especially with some of the other hybrid xenomorphs we've seen before, like the snake alien, crocodile alien, and even a prey mantis of all things. So we'll just say that the face hugger has already successfully attached itself to the white spike's face. With a white spike being a living thing with a mouth and throat and everything, the facehugger would definitely be able to impregnate it with an embryo, and a xenomorph would develop and then make its way out of the white spike, especially with the white spike's fleshy underside giving the chest burst a very little difficulty in escaping. So what would this xenomorph actually look like is what we're all wondering. Well, I came up with a couple of ideas. The first one here that I came up with is if the Xenomorph inherits the hexapod body of the White Spike, complete with the White Spike's four legs and the two mantis arms. You can see I also gave it the Xenomorph's long domed head as well as some spinal ridges to give the body more of a Xenomorph look to it. And I gave it two tails to reflect how its host has the two tentacles. And I gave it the tail barbs that a Xenomorph would typically have at the end of its tail as well. And then I have a white spike over on the other side here for scale. So this alien has come from a male white spike. So keeping with the usual size difference between xenomorphs and their hosts, it is a bit larger than the white spike, around the same size as a female white spike would be. And then if the face hugger impregnated a female white spike, then again it would be slightly larger than that. And then my second design was if the Xenomorph doesn't take the White Spike's hexapod body, as we do know aliens inherit superficial traits and their basic body layout, but in canon we've only ever seen them spawn from a few earth mammals with our layout of two front limbs and two rear limbs, which are called tetrapods namely humans and either a dog or an ox depending on which cut of alien 3. So canonically we can't say yet whether or not xenomorphs are tetrapods themselves if that makes sense. So for this design I used the Kenner bull alien toy for a template and removed the horns and I also gave it two tails again like the white spike and this time I decided to give it the spike launchers at the end. And I actually got the idea for this video from a comment on one of my other videos, so thanks for that. Which one of these two designs of mine did you like the most, and do you think this is what a white spike xenomorph would look like, or do you think it would look different from these? Thanks for checking out my video, if you enjoyed it, make sure you click the like button, and then if you want to, you can subscribe to the channel too if you don't want to miss out on future videos from me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.